Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. So today we're going to check in our one film competition. We're going to be checking out husband born the Quran because his wife became a Muslim. For, for like this, this is disturbing. Like, why would you do that? Like, if I was marrying Muslim today, like it's cool. I feel everyone has their own opinion. And adults, you have what you feel is right and. It's cool. It's your decision, but bro, I want to really check this out, guys. Like, I really want to see why he's thinking what happened. Like, guys, please, if you're new here, please to like, share, subscribe to my channel, guys. Let's get straight into this. I have the Creator in my heart, and I know where He is. If I need Him, I just call upon Him. Reverting to Islam is a big decision in all ramifications. Yes. Even though. It takes Allah's divine guidance for one to become a Muslim. And because everything and everyone on earth is created and controlled by Allah, there are several avenues that He can use to test a new revert's faith. Allah has promised in the Quran, do people think they will be left alone because they say we believe and will not be tested? For some, they have it easy, others, not so much. Yeah. Some reverts who are unable to pass the tests handed down to them have gone back to their old days. May Allah's guidance be upon them once again. Some others have been steadfast in their faith, irrespective of the severity of the tests. Sapphire was one of them. She remained firm in her faith, believing that the trial would only last for some time and things would get better, and eventually a great reward beckons in paradise. She admonished other new Muslims to keep their faith because the rewards far outweigh whatever they are made to face. Just keep remembering it's a test from Allah. Allah is our strength, our wiseness and our helpful. He will help us in this world. Even though it's a test, you know you will succeed in paradise and paradise will be greatly rewarded to all. Every single Muslim, may Allah bless you all. Sapphire became a Muslim, and within three months, she became homeless. Her ex-husband was Ooh. not having any of it. He made life unbearable for her, that she had to run away from him, and even went as far as burning her Qur'an, subhanAllah. She didn't have it easy after leaving her husband and her house behind. She was living on the streets without a guaranteed shelter to protect her. My ex-partner, he was such an evil man, yeah. I had to get away from him because yeah. he didn't he didn't like me yeah. converting to Islam. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, well, if you're converting to Islam, I'm going to burn your Quran. Oh, Lord. He burnt my Quran. Even though things became bad for her shortly Ooh. after reverting to Islam, she accepted the fact that what she was facing was just a trial. And the extent to which she was facing, it was due to the level of faith she had and the favor she had found in the sight of Allah. She was firm in her belief that things would turn around for good eventually. Living on the streets meant she was in no position to raise a child. For that reason, the government took her child away from her and put the child up for adoption if she could not secure a place to live. Sapphire was unwavering in her belief in securing a house so she could have her daughter live with her. She was unfazed by what people around her thought of her, her situation, and her faith. Despite being homeless and without any job, she still found a means to get a hijab made for her and said she would be wearing it everywhere, no matter what people say. So I've got to get my hijab done in the next few hours, start wearing my hijab a bit more and I'll be proud, even though people don't like it, I don't care. Her hardship didn't stop her from believing that whenever she needed help, Allah was the one to call upon, and she had no doubt He would answer her. She holds on to the promises of Allah and the message of the Holy Prophet wasallam that says, This world is a prison to the believers and paradise to the unbelievers. She Whoa. said, She might as well suffer here on earth and enjoy paradise as a believer. I w I'm looking forward to paradise, but yeah. this life, I know it's a test, but I know I'll be further on in paradise. Not very far away. Not far away. Wow. 
Yo, it's awful. Like, yeah, I, I, I love, I love the fact she has faith. Like, faith is is something that is amazing. You know that you're gonna get through this. You telling the universe you're gonna get through this, and you believing you're gonna get through it. I feel you will get through it. And she, 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 she's performing faith like. I can see it, like the boldness. She feels she's gonna overcome it, and she's gonna go to paradise, guys. We call it heaven. She's gonna go to heaven, and it's amazing. But I feel the government taking her child away for her. That was too harsh. Like, I, I, I have goosebumps all over. Like, how? Like, I don't know her state of my heart. She will feel. God, God that that would be so heartbreaking. Like. I don't wish that's my worst enemy, guys. That is going to be so heartbreaking, guys. I just, just think of how she's going to feel. Guys, this is really, really emotional, guys. I feel, oh, God. Whoa, I, I, I feel she got help. Because if people are interviewing her, people will want to help her. I, I personally feel she got help. And peace be unto her, guys. Like, this was amazing. Guys, please to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Please.